Hi, it's the Chief Bonnie with Board Games, and it's been one of those weeks. Whoo, it's one of those weeks where you're just like, man, when's this going to be over? Then you realize it's Monday. <laughs> Actually, it's Tuesday. We had New Year's holiday yesterday, so um, Tuesday. I'll talk about, uh, some of you guys know I have a whiskey show, so at the end of the show, if you're interested, tune in, and at the very end, I'll tell you kind of what I'm sampling here. It's from an independent bottler. But what you're really here is to see an unboxing of a prototype, all right? A uh, U-boat, or I, Das Boot, so it's U-boot, the board game. World War II, submarine, missions, cooperative, where you're all taking the different roles of the crew. However, I was told by Oz from Phalanx Games that sent me this to review from Poland, he was sending a little, little surprise. And I actually thought it was going to be the mock-up boat, the mock-up uh, like 3D U-boat um, that was in the uh, in kind of their prototypes. It is not. So there will be a separate unboxing in a little bit of Hannibal and Hamilcar, Mark Simonich's game that uh, that's uh, they reprinted. And I'd seen kind of some of this coming across the radar, and I was like, whoa. So this, this is the surprise. We'll come back to this later. I'll do a whole separate unboxing because that is something different. So I'm going to let you know that everything we look at in here is prototype. Uh, I, I can almost guarantee some is going to change. Um, and I want to let you know, I mean, that even includes uh, artwork possibilities. So I believe a lot of it's going to be roughly about the same, but keep that in mind as we simply unbox. And then I've got to learn this and I'm going to get a little preview video out. So this is not a review copy, it's a preview copy. They've got a Kickstarter coming up. I don't get paid for these or anything. For me, it's just very fun to have something uh, especially when things are coming from Phalanx or, or other companies that I, I work with uh, over in Europe. And made my day. I told my son to look out for the package and I came home fairly exhausted. And he's like, Dad, there's a package. And I was like, ah. Oh. And then the little surprise was like, ooh. <laughs> All right. So uh, this isn't shrink wrapped, but I have not opened it. So we're going to go in and we'll do an unboxing of this right now. All right, coming in close on, I, I, I don't know how to, what is it? Is it U-Boot? Because I know it's Das Boot in German, so I'm going to just call it U-Boot, the board game. All right, fully cooperative, real-time board game, World War II submarine simulation from Phalanx. Again, uh, I can tell it's a prototype box, so I'm going to be a little ginger because, you know, there's nothing even on the back of this one. I should have looked before, but we'll take a look at what's inside, and now we do get a little info on the side here. All right, so this won't be nearly as grand of, of an unboxing as obviously we're going to get from Hannibal over there, but look, we look like we have a plotting sheet, and... We've got, oh, there is an app for this, and it's interesting. I'm all Mac iOS, iPad, iPhone, and they've got the Android up and running, and the iOS is supposed to be coming out soon. So I'm going to either have to find a friend that has an Android or just wait and hope they get the, uh, the iOS out soon. I know iOS can be a bit more of a pain. So here's the rules. Uh, this is a good shot where you can see that 3D, that's actually the 3D sub that they have. Um, we'll go through that. That's a printed copy. Oh, look, they've got the 3D sub in here. Wow. All right, compass. Uh, you're going to be, you can see it's, this is actually chunky and nice, even as a prototype, this is phenomenal. So you're setting your course. Everything looks very technical and a little bit scary. All right, so it's going to be meaty. And it's funny, the uh, the whole reason this even came up that, you know, I've done some uh, some previews for Phalanx and Oz and I talk on occasion, 
but I'd mentioned in one of our um, ham tag episodes when we were doing naval stuff, I haven't played Captain Sonar, and I said, I don't know if that would qualify or not, because I'm the light war gamer of the crew. And a bunch of people said, nah, it's more of a party game. And then Oz said, oh, but do we have something coming that you're going to enjoy? So you'll be able to play Navigator. Let me get, without damaging anything, wow. So uh, putting the sub together, that looks very interesting. So, you know what these, these, uh, yep, um, victory point games, when they have the wooden laser cut pieces, that's what these feel like. So they're a nice solid wood, not just uh, weak cardboard, but they've got a little bit of smell of that laser smell as it burns through, which actually means this is going to be very stout. Very cool. All right, sub so took a little bit of shifting in the sea here. Um, we'll end up setting all this up later. That is neat, neat, neat. All right, we've got all right more mathy looking things. <laughs> you want me to captain your ship? I'm not sure you want me doing your course corrections. All right, more of the sub. Again, we'll put that whole thing together when we do the show. Um, Looks like the board rolled up in uh, just paper format. Totally fine. I got a prototype pencil. Love it. Pencil from Poland. Hello. All right. Sorry. Goofy. All right. Uh, counters. These all look to be also laser cut uh, out of that harder wood type. So we're going to get some of these out of the way because we will be dealing with them much more when we do the uh, the preview. I shouldn't call it a review, a preview. All right, we've got a deck of cards. Let's just see what these are. So, what's it say over here? Wound. Okay, wound, wound, wound. All right, they're all saying wound. And then it gets to morale, so let's see what wounds are. Assign the card to a random sailor. Cook burns the dinner. Success on the front. The captain adds his card to his hand. Okay, so indigestion. Wow, that'd be a problem. Scurvy. Wow. Need to get some limes. Okay, so electric shock, burns, minor burns. Okay, so different kind of wounds you can take. We've got a few morale cards. Four, maybe. Okay, exhaustion, crushed hand, broken leg. Fist fight. Sorry, and I hope not all of those were off camera. Fist fight. Look at that. Be on a sub and getting a fist fight. I would imagine you're cooped up. All right. And then there's some morale cards of uh, different color. What do they all say? They all say morale. Then there's some captain cards. So you've got some other pep talk. All right. Not sure what the significance of the color is. And the rolls, which we'll get to in a second. Come on, what's that? Okay. So, Captain, Reprimand, Beer, and Chocolate. I love the Captain. And a First Officer, Navigator, Mechanic. So, you can kind of see. I'll just hold these up rather than talk about them. Let's take a look at... Is there two? There is two. So, these are orders from the Captain. Here's your navigator. That's the one that scares me a little bit. And the first officer. Cool. So it looks like we have four rolls. Neat. Let me take a look at what we got here. Watch officer, observer. All right. Let's pop this off. We've got submerged, full speed ahead, distance covered in hours. Okay. Alrighty. Master Chief, Senior Sailor, 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 Captain Chief, Sailor. Huh. Not sure the significance yet. Interesting. Petty officer. 
sailor, sailor petty officer. Huh. Do not know at when you got four boards, are you running this whole, is this the watch officer and his little subordinates? I don't know. I shouldn't say little subordinates. That's kind of demeaning. His subordinates. All right, let's take a look at these last deals and then our unboxing of this prototype copy, which is hopefully of interest to you. Um, boy, these are nice. Okay, it looks like these open up. Let me see. Yes, they do. Okay. Taped on the back. We got the thing. Wow. That's actually a very nice prototype. Got our gauges. Looks like our speed. Alright, what do we got here? I don't know if this means we're surfacing. I don't know what that means. Okay. Alright, the captain and some card placements. Looks like turns. Okay, looks like a ship that's under fire, or at least on fire. And some kind of plotting board. Huh, okay. Let me show a little bit more of these pieces. Torpedo room four and aft. Well, four. All right. What do we have here? Okay. Very slick. All right, cool. Oh, for those that wanted to know, Single Cask Nation is an independent bottler. So they've bought uh, a barrel or barrels from the English Whiskey Company, which is very interesting in its own right. Won't go into that now. And then this one's a little special. So it's aged nine years in first fill Sauternes Barrique casks. And then it gives you the cask and the fill time and everything. And this has got a real sweet kind of sub-flavor. Single cask nation is great. They also, um, where is it? I thought they had something on the Jubilee. Maybe I missed it or maybe it's one of the other bottles. They also run a lot of the Jubilees. Uh, whiskey's kosher. And it's literally spelled Jew, J-E-W, so Jubilee. And they do them in New York. That's where they started. Uh, Chicago and I believe LA, but that's enough of the whiskey.